photos can really make or break your website design. But just trust me, after working with hundreds of websites, photos make a big difference. So today I'm gonna give you some of my favorite places to get free, good quality stock photos. If you're new here, my name's Jess and I create videos for business owners like you to help you save time and look good online. And today I wanna share three of my favorite stock photo websites for dietitians and nutritionists. But before we dive in, I wanna say, I know a lot of you are hesitant to use stock photos. That's a question I get with uh, so many of my clients. People are like, but, but can I use stock photos? Like, I'm not sure about this. <laughs> um, is it bad? Does it look bad? No, it does not look bad. If you are using the right stock photos, that's the key. You have to use good stock photos. There are some really, really cliche stock photos out there. Usually those are ones that you find on like iStockPhoto.com. And you know the ones I'm talking about. The like really, really cliche ones with like, they're like illustrated or... You know, it's just people being really cheesy in the stock photos. We don't want that. <laughs> um, so the ones that I'm going to give you today are really food focused. And that's why they're for dietitian and nutritionist. I know we're all pretty familiar with sites like unsplash.com, Pixels, Pixabay. If not, I'll be sure and link to those websites uh, below as well. But uh, we want to make sure that we're getting some other good quality food photos for your website. So the first one is foodiesfeed.com. Lots of fun photos here. Then we have scatterjar.com. More, more food photos. That's what we're all about. And then lastly, shotstash.com. Now this one is not exclusively food like the first two, but I feel like it's lesser known and has more unique food photos, um, not the ones that are like really overused from unsplash.com. Now I wanna give you two quick tips for using stock photos on your website. The first is when you're searching, Try being more specific. Of course, you can just search, you know, like especially if you're on Unsplash or something, you can just search food. But try searching like vegetables, red food, chocolate, bread. Um, you can even do like, like I've done when I'm searching for food photos for clients, I have done things like food white plate or food brown table or, you know, like whatever. Um, so try searching things in that way and see what you can find. When you are searching, the kind of second step I will mention is scroll down a little bit. Like not that you have to go to clear to the bottom, but especially if you are just searching a really broad term like food, those first like top photos are going to be the most used. So try to avoid those because everyone else is using them. <laughs> so they are going to see, I mean, not that it's the worst thing ever that someone sees the same chocolate photo on your site and this other site, but it can feel a little more unique um, if you use those lesser used photos. And then the other thing I will say is make sure that your photos match your aesthetic and that the photos feel cohesive. Like you want your photos to feel like they were all taken by the same photographer or all taken on the same day. Not to say that literally every single picture needs to like have an orange in it to make it feel like it's together. But let me put some pictures here to give you an example. So like these two photos, do not feel like they go together. Very light and dark, just not the same thing. They don't, they don't go together. These two photos do feel more cohesive. They don't have to be identical. They don't have to be the exact same background, but you want them to feel more cohesive. You don't want a ton of contrast um, and just feeling like all over the place when you are going around your website. The one thing I will say um, is 
if you are going to have stock photos that also have people in them, that is where you do want to have some di some diversity. Um, you want to have different body types, different skin tones, different eth different ethnicities, that kind of thing. Um, so that is important, but still try to find photos that still kind of feel like they fit together um, so that your site as a whole feels more cohesive. And I know I said that was just gonna be two tips, but the last thing I will say is never just use an image from Google search. Make sure the photos you are using are licensed, are free to use, you have permission, etc. So going to a dedicated stock photo website, um, you can look at their license, their terms, etc. You are more protected than if you just go to Google search. So don't do that. <laughs> um, if you have any questions about stock photos, let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up and I will see y'all next time.